In this video, we're gonna show you how to replace the headlamps on the front side of your vehicle. Now on the bottom side here, right on the base of our wheel well area on the passenger side, it's gonna be some plastic buttons here holding our lower splash guard to the fender liner. We're gonna use our trim tool. We're just gonna go up in here and we're just gonna pop off the little buttons that are in here holding these together. Ours don't all match, so it looks like someone was already in here playing with these before. We're actually missing a button over here, and we have a zip tie there, or some sort of anchoring strap. We're gonna go ahead and pop that off, remove that, and let's go ahead and do the same for the driver's side. Okay, pop these buttons out here. On the front cross member, we have two 10 millimeter bolts. Across the lower front portion of the bumper, there's a series of seven millimeter screws. Let's get to loosen and remove these. The little retaining clips on the back side here have come loose, so we need to grab that with a pair of pliers. And go ahead and remove those there. Now we get the screws removed. Get to lower this down. Now in the center of these buttons right here, I wanna go ahead and push in the center. And do this to the three plastic buttons holding these in place. I'm gonna switch over to our trim tool. I'm gonna get inside here and go ahead and pop these buttons out. Let's go ahead and release all three of these. And then we'll go ahead and repeat the process for the other side. Now you want to go ahead and peel back your fender liner. And right up inside here, there's going to be a single 10 millimeter bolt. Let's go ahead, loosen, and remove that. Heat for the passenger side. On the bottom side here, I want to go ahead and disconnect your fog lights. I'm going to turn these counterclockwise, pop out that light. And up top, up inside, there is your marker light. I want to go ahead and disconnect that harness up top. Now right here on the back side of our bumper edge here, there's going to be a second bolt that we want to get to. It's also a 10 millimeter, so we're going to go ahead and use a long extension, put our socket on there. I'm gonna go ahead and remove this bolt. Once this is out, we're gonna repeat it for the passenger side. All right, so now we have this bolt loose. We'll go ahead and remove this. Let's go ahead and pop out our little filler panels right here. Get 
do this for both driver and passenger side. You guys set those aside. Across the top of your grill, you're gonna have four of these plastic push pins. You wanna go ahead and use your trim tool. Go ahead and remove those. Repeat for the other three. At this point here, now that we have all of our pieces of hardware removed, securing the bumper, let's go ahead and grab the driver's side lower edge here. And we're gonna just grab this bumper and pull forward like so. I'm gonna work our way across the top here. Do the same on the passenger side now. Pull it straight forward. And we'll go ahead and grab the upper portion with the grill and just wiggle this off. and set that down. Now on the passenger side, right below the headlamp and behind the impact beam here, there's a connector here. And this connector goes to all of the wires and the harness that goes to all of your bumper lights. What we wanna do is disconnect this harness so we can go ahead and continue to separate the bumper from the vehicle. So I'm gonna go ahead and use a pocket screwdriver and you wanna go ahead and just pry this a little bit here, disconnect that harness. Now we have that harness disconnected, we can remove the entire bumper. We wanna go ahead and use our eight millimeter socket. We wanna go ahead and remove the three screws. There's one on the bottom, two on the top. set those screws aside. Now that we have our bolts out, I'm gonna go ahead and bring our headlamp forward. This is gonna allow us to get access to the backside and disconnect our light bulb wiring harness. On the back of the light here, the upper one here has a little locking tab on it. So we're just gonna take our screwdriver, we're just gonna like pop this up. That'll unlock this. Now we'll go ahead and we're gonna pinch on the little spring tab here. Wiggle this. And it'll disconnect from the bulb itself. Make sure this lock is up all the way. Now that we have our lock up, we're gonna go ahead and press down this little tab right here. Give us a little wiggle and pop this off like so. And we'll go to the other lights here. There's two little tabs here. Now I'm just gonna use my little pocket screwdriver. And kind of lift up on these here. Kind of wiggle this. Harness off and this one here. I'm gonna go ahead and do the same. And go ahead and remove our headlamp assembly. Now we have our new headlamp assembly here, and our particular light comes with bulbs in it. Now, if you want to go ahead and swap these out, you're simply gonna grab that bulb, turn them counterclockwise, pop it out, replace your bulb, install this here, press it in, turn it clockwise, or lock it in. The other units here. You're gonna turn these here, pop them out. If your light doesn't have that bulb, you're gonna take your new light, install, and then press it and rotate. You wanna go ahead and do the same for this one here. This one comes out the same way. So at this point, let's go ahead and install our harness. We're gonna go ahead and line this up. Press it up, lock it in. Do the same over here. Line it up. Press it in, you'll see those little lock tabs pop in. And this one here, press it in. You'll hear it and lock in, and then press that red lock tab down. And then go ahead and install the lamp assembly. Go ahead and grab one of your screws here. And go ahead and line this up. 
And we're just gonna go ahead and get all three screws started a few threads first. Once these are all started, we'll go ahead and snug them down. All right, so we'll go ahead and snug that down. Once those three screws are all set, you want to go ahead and repeat the same process for the other side. Now looking down behind the headlight through our upper cross member here, there's a hole and you can see the Phillips head screw down there. When you want to adjust your headlamp assembly, just put your screw down there and you want to turn that clockwise and counterclockwise to go ahead and adjust your headlight beam. I'm going to go ahead and bring your bumper up into place. You want to be careful bringing that up so you don't scratch the paint on your fender. What we're going to do is go ahead and hang the upper portion of the bumper on the support. Let's go around to the driver side and we're going to go ahead and tuck that up into place. I'm going to go ahead and bring the bumper up and fit it right into this notch here. Slide that back into place. Let's go ahead and repeat that same process for the passenger side. Across the top of your bumper area, go ahead and install your push pins here. We want to go ahead and install our filler panels right here. If you notice, there's a little tab right here, and that will actually interlock with this base here once we assemble it. Now, these also have metal clips that will lock in to the top here. So, you want to go ahead and set these down into place. I'm going to interlock the center piece right now, make it a little bit easier. Once that's interlocked, we'll go ahead and line this up. Snap that down into place. Line this up. Snap that down. And we're all set. Let's go ahead and start to install our screws here. We have the forward one here, and then we have the one closer to the back side of the fender. And get that started. Let's go ahead and get the other one in. Now that we have both of these started, what you want to do is make sure that the bumper itself lines up with the body lines on the fender itself. Then we'll go ahead and snug those down. Once those are tight, we'll go ahead and repeat this process for the other side. We want to go ahead and attach our fender liner to our bumper itself. Now a couple of our plastic buttons had broken, so we sourced out a couple other ones. If yours are in good shape, go ahead and install those. I'm going to go ahead and get mine installed. Once you have these done here, you want to go ahead and repeat this process for the passenger side. Now let's go ahead and take our wiring harness from our front bumper and let's bring it up and we're going to connect that into the body harness here. Press that up, you can feel it in here at lock in a place. Let's go ahead and put our under engine splash shield up and in.
with our splash shield in its general location, we're gonna go ahead and install the two screws on the back side here. Once we get those installed, we'll go ahead and snug them down. All right, let's go ahead and install our two rear screws here. All right, once we have these two caught, let's go ahead and snug those down. Go ahead and install our screws into our retaining clips here. I'm gonna get a few of these started by hand first, then we'll go ahead and snug them down. Go ahead and start snugging these down. You're just gonna complete the same process across the whole front side and onto your two edges. Just want to snug those once you feel them stop then it's pretty much maxed out and just continue for the rest of these now we're going to install the three plastic push pins on the driver's side This one here, when you're pushing it in, you might be able to use a flathead screwdriver on the back side just to apply some pressure to the fender liner. Pull it forward, lock them to, together. Once you have these three in, go ahead and repeat for the passenger side. Now we'll get these two in here. Once we snug this down, you can go ahead and repeat the process for the passenger side. Now we're gonna get the vehicle ready to aim the headlights. Start with the tire pressure, making sure all four tires are set at the appropriate pressure. Remove any excessive weight that's not normally in the vehicle. Find a wall that you can drive up to where the ground is level. Measure 25 feet away from that wall and mark the ground. Drive your vehicle up to that mark. With the headlights off, look for the center dot in the headlight lens. Measure from the ground to that center dot you can use a ruler to help you out. Transferring that measurement to the wall, making a mark with some tape. On the driver's side, measure down four inches, putting another piece of tape. For the passenger side, you only need to measure down two inches. Now turning the headlights on, it is easier to do this at night or in a dark area. Locating your headlight adjuster and using a Phillips head screwdriver, turn your adjuster one way or another to bring the headlight up or down. Once the headlight is adjusted to the tape mark on the wall, move on to the next headlight. If you're confused because the beams seem to blend together, you can always have someone stand in front of the other headlight while you make your adjustments for that one. Now your headlights are aligned and you're all set to go. When only the best will do, demand TRQ. The only company that lets you view before you do. TRQ is committed to offering the highest quality aftermarket auto parts that are engineered for peace of mind. Thanks for using and viewing with TRQ.